Good morning, everybody. January 3rd, my first Sub-Zero Rock March for 2022. They were calling for it to be uh, zero or minus one, but it ended up being minus nine. <clears throat> and a friend of mine who's actually one of the weather station monitors for the uh, village of Malone said it was minus 10 at his house. So that's the official Malone temperature is minus 10. So, pretty cold this morning. Uh, I don't know what it is right now. I just got back from uh, the gym. I ruck marched up there and back. Uh, give me two miles for the day. And uh, it's a beautiful morning, as you can see. Hardly, well, I can't see a cloud in the sky. <clears throat> Crystal clear and cold. <laughs> it's probably still around zero. Um, pretty chilly out this morning. If you're going to go out and do stuff in the wintertime, you know, if, if people who ski and snowmobile, they already have all the gear. In fact, they're probably overprepared <clears throat> for walk because if you're out there and you're actually, and you're exercising, I'm not saying that skiing is not exercising or snowmobiling because it is, does require uh, quite a bit of effort. However, you are riding on a machine and on the skis, you ski downhill unless you're cross country ski and cross country skiers wear much lighter clothing and layers. Cross country skiers definitely know what they're, what they're doing when it comes to layering up for the cold weather. But um, you can do it, you just need to use caution. Because when the temperatures get down around zero, um, if you get hurt, that could turn serious really quick. And so you need to use your head. Make sure you have safety gear. I've got uh, this hat that my wife made. You can't see it so much now in the light, but it has, um, she bought a special yarn that has reflective yarn in with the regular yarn. And so I took a picture of it the other night and posted it. But uh, in headlights at night, it looks like I'm wearing a Christmas tree on top of my head, which is kind of funny, but the whole point is to catch people's attention. So I've got my hat, I've got a reflector stripe around my rucksack, and I also have a light that my kids found that I put on my hip on the side facing the traffic. And it's a red light that either shines, shines steady or flashes. And uh, either way, it catches people's eye. And uh, I always try to walk against the traffic so that way I can keep an eye on them. I'm watching them, whether they're watching me or not. And uh, I just prefer that rather than cars coming up behind me. <clears throat> Because then you're always looking over your shoulder to see if there's if they notice you or not. And uh, it's a real easy way to turn an ankle if you step in a hole or something. Or slide off the road. Anyway, beautiful day. Beautiful start to 2022. Uh, I'm off to a good start on my goals. Which I'm not going to make a big deal out of. Because I want people to set their own goals. Not try to meet, reach mine. Or not try to reach somebody else's goals. But you set your goals that are for you not try to follow somebody else's plan. Because I did that. I had Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno's biography when I was a young man just getting started in weightlifting and stuff. And I thought maybe if I followed their workout programs that they had in the back of the book, which I think was probably a joke, um, <clears throat> they, I thought if I followed their workout programs then I'd get big like them. Of course, they were, you know, taking steroids. <clears throat> so that helped a lot. But... Um, the fact is, unless you're a pro, you don't have the time or the energy to do two a day workouts and take a nap in the afternoon and all the stuff that they did if you followed their daily schedule. But uh, anyway, I'm running out of time. I'm way over time now. I usually try to keep these at three minutes or less. But it's a beautiful day. Get outside, get some fresh air in your lungs. You know, obviously, my wife has asthma. She can't come out and do very much when it's this cold because the air is so dry and it gets her asthma going. So if you're asthmatic, then you gotta work something, work around. Contact me, we can come up with a workaround and see what we see if uh, you can still get in better shape. Asthma is, it limits you, but it does not stop you. So let's go get it folks. 2022, here we come, bye-bye.